one thing I want to do is inspire the world. So the one person I know that I'm inspired by is my mom. If I name the business after my mom, it's no way I could give up. Because that's my mom. Exactly. I can't give up on exactly. my mom. Yep. So um, that's where we got Kim Soils from. Hey, have you tried Burger King's tacos yet? No, nah, my boy, he said <laughs> he said he tried it, but he said it ain't it. Really? Yeah. This one guy was Ubering. He went and brought 10 of those. And he gave he me one. It. Yeah. And he, no, I didn't even taste it, matter of fact. He gave me one, and uh -huh. I smelled it. And I was like, you know what? That ain't it. I didn't want to risk it. Yeah, no, nah, that ain't it. <laughs> like, why is there a burger joint selling tacos? No, I heard they got um the veggie burger, too. You have the veggie burger? The veggie burger? Yeah. Are you vegetarian, vegan? No, nah, I did that for like a year and a half. Lost too much weight. So I started eating back meat. You the first person to say lost too much weight. Yeah, I was skinny. Like, I got real skinny. How much weight you lose from that? Probably like 15 to 20. Damn. But once again, I didn't have a car. So oh, I was walking yeah. and all that. So. so you was walking and you was eating super healthy. Yeah. So so such thing as being too much healthy, it sounds like too healthy was you too healthy no nah, it was for me i tried be i tried going raw vegan for three days but my body starts shaking oh damn yeah because when i do damn. when i do things i just go ahead and do it right so it's not like ease it because like on um, january 1st uh -huh. what is it the 17th yeah january 1st going into 2018 right i just quit eating meat like uh december i had meat uh january 1st mm -hmm. i just stopped went all in Oh, so you cold turkey? Yeah, I just do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I went vegetarian for two months, cold turkey. It, uh -huh. I ain't gonna lie, it wasn't that bad until that second month hit, and I yeah. started smelling chicken. But see, it wasn't even that. It was just like matter of fact, what the first time I started eating meat again, I went, I came back home to Cleveland. Mm. I was like, I gotta stop and get some Kims, Polish boy, Mister Heroes, Roman Roman burger. Hang on, they don't got Mister Heroes out there. No, that's the Cleveland thing. Damn. Yeah. Yeah, Roman Burgers, uh, Mr. Heroes. I think I think I did see a Marcos, like one, but yeah. Shit. Yeah, it's make, hella clean. Make me want to go embrace um, Mr. Real. Heroes a little bit more, man. Facts. Facts. Dang. Yeah. Let's get rolling, though. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Lavish Journey Podcast. It's your host, Jay Gaines, and here today, we got my brother, Leon, here representing for Kim's Oil. That's it. That's it. Hey, how you feeling today, bro? Oh, I'm great. I'm great. That's, how, how about yourself? You know what? I'm feeling good. I woke good. up this morning, man. I had I got everything done ahead of time, mm -hmm. and it was warm outside. Right. Yeah, yeah. I was surprised, yeah. too. It was pretty warm. Yeah, it's like usually, you know, September. I mean, it's, it's kind of warm in September, but today mm -hmm. was like, you know, it felt like July. Right. I was feeling good. Feeling yeah, good. it felt great. Yep. So let everybody know about, man, Kim's oils and everything, you know, about you and, you know, the whole biography. All right. So, um... Like, like I said, my name is Leon Chambers. Um, I'm the founder of Kim Zoyo. So how we got started, a um, little backstory. Um, when I went to school at Central State, I would buy oils from my mom um, and to help her out back at home because she had an oil-based business, um, but she was struggling a little bit, and she's a teacher. So that's her profession. I was a business major. I had a business um, already on campus. Um, a transportation company oh that's so good. i um so i would what i would do is buy oils from my mom and sell them on campus so i did all of that in order to go to grad school mm -hmm. so i was able to save up like five thousand sheesh yeah plus taking 21 credits and training for football so i was doing all that was able to go to grad school went to grad school and then I always knew if i wasn't going to the league mm -hmm. i was going to be an entrepreneur like that kind of mentality I always had. Right. Um, so, yeah. So, um, let's see what was that Hampton? Yeah, dropped out of Hampton. Mm -hmm. um, came up to Maryland. Um, was in like a pyramid scheme. Mm -hmm. You know those. I, I'm here. Somebody trying right. to give me a you sign for one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sign up. I did that. I did it pretty well. I was like <laughs> okay. one of the top guys. Yeah. You know, ran the office, everything. But I realized. Oh shit. It's not my business. Right. Right. Like. I'm working off commission. Mm -hmm. So if I could run a business, I might as well do it myself. Mm -hmm. So um, so I tried I tried a business. Um, after leaving after leaving that, I was in the hole bad. Like eviction notice bad. Yeah. Um, 
no my car just got uh rep uh not repo but my transmission went out mm. so my car just got towed so it was just all bad so i tried to come up with a business it didn't work i failed so i had a, i was like damn i gotta get a job so i ended up getting a job at enterprise okay so i worked at enterprise the whole goal was work there for five years and then quit go ahead do your thing mm-hmm. i couldn't even last five years it just always been like entrepreneur 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 right, right. so um working at enterprise um i started working at a hotel mm-hmm. so i had two jobs from six from 7 a.m to 6 i was working at enterprise from 6 from six thirty to 12 at night mm-hmm. i was working at the hotel damn so yeah crazy so um the gentleman he asked me he was like w- he could tell i wasn't happy mm-hmm. he was like what's wrong with you i was like really don't like what I'm doing. He was like, why are you doing it? He was like, what was you doing in school? I was like, playing ball and selling oils. He was like, why you don't do that anyway? So that job, I was getting paid like 12, 13. So I was like, all right, bet. If I could sell, say, two oils, mm-hmm. I could, I'd be able to beat that, beat that out. Right. So with that next check, I ended up buying a set of oils, quit that job. I still have the enterprise job. Just been grinding, just been grinding. So at that time, I didn't have a name of the business or anything. Um, I was thinking for about four months, what should the name of the business be? Mm -hmm. Um, And I knew entrepreneurship is really, really tough. Mm -hmm. So one thing I want to do is inspire the world. So the one person I know that I'm inspired by is my mom. If I name the business after my mom, it's no way I could give up because that's my mom. Exactly. I can't give up on exactly. my mom. Yep. So um, that's where we got Kim's OS from. That's a very inspirational story, man. Appreciate it. I respect that. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So, man, when you was going through like that downtime, man, like what was going through your head at that time? You said everything and, just went, you know, went down. Yeah. I know that happens a lot throughout and it, life. And it's crazy because if you ask anybody, mm-hmm. they'd be like, he is the most optimistic person. Mm-hmm. Like, true story. Like, doesn't matter what like i just knew like growing up i played football so my dad he always told me one you know always this tough times don't last tough people do so it's just temporary always knew it's a process so and to be honest it's like all the greats they go through some hard ass shit facts either sleeping in the car getting kicked out um you know not having zero in their account like all of that you know what i'm saying so when going through all of that, that's why I think I'm not as scared to do business because mm-hmm. it's like I've been there. So you can only go up. So that's fast. That's what you're talking about earlier, too, man. Mm-hmm. You got to embrace them hard times. It's part, it's part of the journey in the story, man. Facts. And I respect that. I like how you use your mom name on that, bro. Got to. Like, that is some inspirational shit. Like, every time you see it, that's Mom Dukes, man. Facts. That's real. So, what type of oils are these that you have up here? So, these are scented oils. All of them are um, custom made by, by myself. Because, as you know, the oil game been around for years. Um,. One thing that we we like to do is customize because I don't want to be just like anyone else. Right. I'm great. Um, so, uh, for example, this one right here is called Goddess. If you want. This yeah. one, woman. That smells good. Hold on. Appreciate it. Appreciate ladies, it. Ladies. Check. He says for the ladies. Yeah, it's called Goddess. Goddess. I like that smell. Also, this one is called Wealth. So, a lot of my oils I speak to, I speak to my people. Like you're a goddess you know like you're not no hoe you're not no bitch you're a goddess you know what i'm saying um Thanks. let's talk about wealth let's have let's have these boss talks i don't i don't speak employee yeah i, like I speak this. boss talks let's let's talk about building you know um having a vision as a ceo as a founder you got to have a vision right and that's why we name um our sense that's real good and mm-hmm. how long does it take you to you know make each one of those sense typically like a batch like this probably about eight hours Oh, okay. Because okay, it's, yeah, yeah. it's a heat and mix and process. Right. Wow. So how you learn all that? Did your mom do teach you no, that? No, not just, at all. You know, not at all. Just learned? Or? Just was really just selling. Right. Just selling, selling. Then I'm like, hold on. Got to gotta be different. Right. Because if you're doing the same thing everybody else do, they're looking, one, you're getting those same results. Yep. And then two, people look at you the same. So it's really, how are you going to separate yourself from the next business or guy or gal? Mm. 
That stuff smells real good, man. Appreciate I like that it. wolf one. Oh, appreciate it. Yeah, <laughs> so, that's that's definitely a, a big one. So so how can they find these? How can they buy these? So um you could follow us on Instagram at Kim's K Y M Z Oils or you could go to our website, www.kymzoils.com. Also, um, we are nationwide. We have a couple of distributors in Ohio. If you're looking to become a distributor, definitely contact us at Kim's Oils um, on IG. We'll definitely uh, give you more details on that. Dope. And I see you also make, is it black soap as well? Uh, no. So yeah. we went away with that. Okay. okay. Um, we, we realized we got to focus. Mm-hmm. Um, we was carrying a lot of products prior um but you know it was doing doing well but when you're growing so fast Mm -hmm. and you have different products to worry about that's a lot of time consuming um so i had to kind of take a step back focus on one be great at one thing and then foundations um you know more is definitely to come we got a lot lined up for our fall collection so we just took a step back reevaluate ourselves Yep. And then, you know, we got a game plan going on. I agree, man. And how many different smells do you have, man? He, got, uh, he has a ton of here, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not um, too much. We keep uh-huh. it we keep it simple. But uh, we have about seven to nine scents. Yeah. Um, five of them, I believe, is women. Four, uh, four of them are men. Okay. Um, we got a lot of unisex scents as well. So um, it's always great. Dope. And I see, man, on social media, you posting like a lot of methods like teaching the game pretty much yeah man. I, I mean see that. i see that that and that's another thing like yeah. i'm now starting to if you look at my business page in mm-hmm. comparison to my page um i've been focusing on building the business yep. um you know i'm not trying to win a popularity contest i'm not trying to have any kind of clout or anything like that like i'm a businessman i'm trying to build a, a very big business yep. um and but i noticed as well it's like for me, it's more than just building business. It's about sharing the knowledge, mm-hmm. sharing the knowledge. I, I play for the impact. Like that's really what what I'm trying to do. I'm I'm playing for the impact and bringing value to to people. I respect that. You man. know, because at the end of the day, you know, you might have a burger a burger business that mm-hmm. don't affect me with my oil business, mm-hmm. or you got a lawn service business that don't affect me. Right. So if you just have knowledge on or just any kind of experience I go through, mm-hmm. I'm going to share it because each, 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 one. each one teach one. That's dope. Mm-hmm. That's dope. And you also have an event come to Sunday, right? Yeah. So this Sunday we'll be in Beachwood. Um, we're having a, a entrepreneur workshop event. So we're going to have um, three other experts, um, entrepreneurs come out, speak. Also, I want to bring um, a lot of Cleveland businesses out yeah. more for a network event. You know, let's let's come together. Let's learn different industries. Let's network. Let's build. Uh, a lot of times, like I say, I'm from Cleveland. It's you can't you can't win here. That's from sports, business, whatever. You can't win here. You got to get out. You got to get out. You know, you got to get out of there. You know, uh, people hate, you know, people hate on you. Mm-hmm. You know, if you're doing better, you know, but I don't I don't get that. I think. I really think it's a lot. It's a lot that we have in Cleveland. Yeah. Um, yeah. Talent wise, business, business wise, brands, and it's time to come together. Yeah. It's time to really come together. Um, and I'm excited about it because we've been getting great feedback. Ticket sales is up there, so I'm real excited about you know what we got going on. I respect it, man. And Cleveland, by the way, he is right. It is time to get together <laughs> and grow for real, though. Because I'm you know, out in the DMV, yeah. and that's how it is. Right, right. That's how it is. Like it's progressive. Mm-hmm. You know, it's black folks working together. It's it's like Atlanta. You hear Atlanta, black folks working together. Right. Like that's what we need. So out there, compared to Cleveland, they're more. Is it like they're just work together more out there? It's like more of a teamwork out there, pretty much. Um, I say there's open mentorships okay okay um people out there people you know people out there that's doing it you know um mentors that's willing to give you game but you have to put in that effort yourself you yeah. gotta want it and that's i like i said i talk to anybody i give you know the game that i even know i give to anyone mm-hmm. but you gotta put in the work you gotta want it yourself i can't yeah. want it more than you yeah you know so it's like pretty much you can give the blueprint but after that 
you got to roll. Gotta you got to build, man. <laughs> That's a nice house on paper, but you got to build it. Facts. Like earlier, we was talking about Gary V, man. He was like one of the people that inspired me to mm-hmm. do this. You know, he gave me like pretty much the answer to the test, but you know, I had to put the answers down. You feel me? Facts. And it, yeah, Gary V's my guy, yeah. and I do post um post good amount of like his content. Mm-hmm. But understand this, and I want people to really understand this. Mm-hmm. I don't consume Gary V. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm I'm a knowledge you know. Yeah. If I want to see like a little quick quick something learn from, you yeah. know, maybe more of his YouTube's like on his marketing strategy. Yeah, marketing. But yeah. on his Instagram, it's not really consumption. Mm-hmm. It's okay, I hear it once. Now let's go ahead and do it. Uh, yep. You I know, agree. so I feel like a lot of times people get too too hung up on the motivational, the inspirational the sizzle instead of being ready to roll your sleeves up and cook that steak i'm glad you said that man i was one of those people that was like that for a while actually for mm-hmm. a few years a few years ago i read the motivational quotes on instagram yeah right. yeah i'm motivated right then two hours later fuck it you know what i mean <laughs> it'd be like that though but i mean i mean it's just that's how instagram is now yeah. you know what i'm saying and it's like i feel like sometimes that's somewhat my downfall um on my marketing aspect of it is because I give I give some sizzle, mm-hmm. but I'm big on showing the state mm-hmm. because at the end of the day, this is not no, hey, get rich in yeah. six months yeah. and, hey, you could do that. No, it's true entrepreneurship. You build. Think about any company, any company, any favorite company, like Apple. Mm-hmm. They're like in their 40th year. For real. 40th year. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And we're like year one. You know what I'm saying? So it's like patience. Like, you know, Vayner Media. Even think about it. Even patience. patience. He been doing this. He's what forty something years old. He been mm-hmm. doing pretty much since he was twenty. That's twenty year gap. Mm-hmm. People people don't understand. It's a process that goes along into it. Yeah. They just see the result. They just see okay. Here, let's get rich in six months and go to these meetings, yeah. go to these events. Hey, you to do this and to do this, but. They don't tell you, look, you have to put in work. You got to hear those rejections. You got to hear those no's. You got to actually make those relationships. You got to build for a long term. And that's my only thing in this world like of entrepreneurship now is more instant instead of long term thinking. Yeah, I agree, man. I agree. And I feel like a lot of us, you know, deal with that out there still to this day. We we're a very impatient generation we yeah. we are like bold you know to go out there and start businesses but i feel like a lot of us we just need to be a little more patient mm. and just understand that it's a process it's it a is. journey man like that's why i call this the lavish journey it's it a is. journey man it's not just gonna <laughs> wake up oh i got two million subscribers so you know yeah. youtube i'm making it millions not trying to say it's impossible but you know usually it takes a good amount of time to build a strong foundation man understand yeah most definitely yeah. i mean it's really just depend on you know what do you want you know yeah. what i'm saying yep. um you know so let me not let me not say um go ahead say build it. A, no i mean <laughs> it's just really like what do you want i mm-hmm. mean do you want to build a business like for long term do you want something just on the side something that call it your own something where you could possibly live off of or can you do you want something where you're really building legacy mm-hmm. it really depends on the person yeah. but also see i because I, I interact with so many people right and especially with inspiring entrepreneurs they you know they say they have a business or on instagram they have a business i'm an entrepreneur on instagram stuff like that but what work are you doing after your job because while i was on my at, at enterprise at my job like i would tell my customers like when i'm selling them uh insurance Mm -hmm. like i'm telling them like yeah i'm an inspiring entrepreneur i can't call myself an entreprenuer because i have a job but i'm an inspiring entrepreneur so like and i used to hustle like i couldn't breathe really like no bullshit i really couldn't breathe of like having a job like it took me like six months (sighs) for to realize like someone telling me to go to lunch Cause I used to be like to the manager, I'm not hungry. Like, we're, like, what go to you, lunch. Go yeah, like, yeah, yeah, what are you, like, you yeah, talking about? Yeah. Like, you know, like having that kind of that control, right. you know. And then on my lunch break, I would go across the street, sell the oils uh, to the plaza and mm-hmm. like everyone around there. And that used to be like freedom for me. Right, right. Like I didn't even care about eating. Like that hour, boom, boom, boom. Damn, I gotta go back. And then it'd be like, what am I doing? You know, either that's not that. You know, I go back and put my passion back on the ground. Mm-hmm. 
And then when I get off, same thing. Hustle, hustle, awesome. hustle, hustle. Like, you really have to sacrifice a lot. I, like, I sacrificed a lot. And it's not even, I'm not even there yet. That's what I'm saying. It's more sacrifice to go, especially yeah, yeah, when you want to yeah. get bigger. But when I just see where I, where I started, mm-hmm. um, man, it's like, I really, that's why you really have to take a step back and listen to people. But I, I'm more concerned about the action. Mm-hmm. And that's why I put so much content out there. It's like that content is there. Just do it. You know what I'm saying? Like people say, hey, I'm not a salesperson. I get that. But in business, you need transaction. Right, right. If it's no transaction, it's a hobby. And okay, you're not a salesperson. Okay, what's stopping you? Go DM, DM people. Yeah. Don't You don't have to be a face-to-face person like me. Yeah. You could just hey, how's it going? My name is Leon. I'm build. I'm building this business. Uh, X, Y, and Z. Hey, you know, have you checked out our page? You know, just engage in two, three hours. Yeah. Then those two to three hours become five hours. Those five hours become eight hours. Those eight hours become ten. Guess what? You kick your job away. I agree. So I agree. But everybody also, I'm very. I'm very understanding on perspective as well. Mm-hmm. Me personally, I don't have any kids, so I don't have to really worry about the family yeah, life. Yep, yep. Um, so, like I said, it's a balance. You know, if it's you allocating, say, six hours, you know, that's that sacrifice. Mm-hmm. What do you want? Do you want to build build a business right now, or do you want to, you know, do whatever you do? I mean, that, sac- that year, year and a half sacrifice, now I'm able to, you know, come back to Cleveland, see my family whenever yep. I want. Yep. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, it's, it's a risk and a yeah. sacrifice you have to take. You both, man. But you can't, like I said, and that's what Gary was talking about. Yep. And now talk, finally saying it mm-hmm. and seeing it, that's what he's talking about. You can't be in the middle. Is it this or this? Mm-hmm. Pick one, go with it, make your bed, and let's rock. Yep. You know what? I agree hundred <laughs> percent. You just dropped some crazy yeah, chills. Like, like, just, that's true. Yeah, you have to. It's the bona fide. It's so true, man. Can't you be just, in the middle. Yeah, you just gotta go all in. You know what I mean? Because if you want something to grow, you just gotta go. Yeah. yeah I be telling people all that time. That goes myself too. Like days, I ain't gonna lie. Some days I am feeling unmotivated, or uninspired. But absolutely, I still give a move. I'm like, anyway, go. This day is gonna go by. So either. <laughs> I can lay my ass down here, but yeah. oh man, you know, or yeah. get the fuck up and put in work. And then that's uh-huh. another thing. A lot of people talk talk shit about me uh-huh. a little bit, and I know I do this. Um, if anyone asks me, I always say great. Like I never say good, because mm-hmm. me, I think think good is a good lie. Mm-hmm. And like my day could be going by terrible because entrepreneurship, you have your days. You know what I'm saying? Yep. But I still always, hey, how's it going? I'm great. Yep. I might be feeling shitty as hell. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing, you know, ain't nothing, quote, right going on. But I'm still creating, creating my life saying I'm great. Yep. You know, you speak it, you create it, and then it'll pop up. It's like you manifesting in a way, right. man. You got any uh, type of books you like to read? Um, I wasn't really a big book reader myself. Um, One game changer is called The Power Now by Eckhart Tolle. Oh, I love that book. Um, yeah. That was a game changer mm-hmm. just in life in general. Um. Of course, you read the Robert Kiyosaki books. Right now, I am reading a book. Uh, my guy's going to get mad at me, but this um, gentleman I met in Atlanta, his name's Curtis Martin. Mm-hmm. Um, he's, you know, he's talked about entrepreneurship and also just taking control of your life. Right. And um, not creating ex- excuses. So that that been a um, nice read that I'm reading now. Also, um, on my trip up here, I was listed to The Power of Broke. Uh, by Damon John. I never heard of that one. The Power Broke. The Power Broke by Damon John. Mm. It really shows like you don't need you don't need money. I mean, don't get me wrong. You need money. You don't need money. I swear. You need business, but it's more yeah. about grit, your hustle, mm-hmm. actually building, um, using using the fact that you're broke. Mm. Use that as advantage of actually going at it, going you know putting your first foot uh, foot forward. Right, right. Um, and it, it was a great example. Um, they was talking about the Rocky movie, you know, when he was working out in the meat uh, factory, living in the hood, he had his back against the wall, you know, that's when he was a champion. But once he get, became a champion, he started getting a clout. He's starting to take it easy. Guess mm-hmm. what? He got knocked out. And that's the same thing with mm-hmm. being a power broke, like feel uncomfortable, 
you know, you like when you feel uncomfortable, that's when you're at your best. Yeah. Because yeah. you, you like, all right, I got to make this happen. So um, those are pretty much great reads that I'm reading. Um, and I'm doing a better job reading now because I'm trying to make the shift um, from a founder salesperson mm -hmm. to a CEO. Um, and I think, you know, by reading, slowing, it helps me slow down my life. Right, right. Because I'm always on the go, on, on the, the go, move, moving, man. moving, yep, moving. Yep. But if being able to read rather than just listening to audio, it slows it down because I'm practicing patience. You know, I feel the same exact way. Yeah. Somebody told me, listen to audio. I'm not doing it every now and then, but yeah, I like yeah. reading. Yeah. Reading, it kind of forces me, like, every day I read these 10 pages of my book. I'm reading right now The Alchemist. Mm -hmm. And I read these 10 to 15 pages every morning just so I can be kind of sit down and actually focus on something right. And let me have it edit. Let me have it do this. Let me have yeah. it do this. Like you how you to. said. You it, got it, it's, it, like, centers you in a way. Facts. Because, um, matter of fact, shout out to my uh, life coach, Yolanda mm -hmm. King. She's great, by the way. Dope. dope. Um, she, she pretty much put me on, like, structure my life. Mm -hmm. So... What I like to do is take care of me before 12. So if reading, working out, laundry, whatever. Then 12 to like 8, 9, building. Just seriously commit 8 to 9 hours. Because if you, if you can't be efficient, not busy, but efficient in those 8 to 9 hours, then you're not ready. Mm -hmm. So do that. And then the after, um, the after 8 is more just chill, network, and um reflect yeah you know on your day because me personally i enjoy what i'm doing like people like you're working working you're always working but i really don't feel like working like yeah. i seriously go to bars set up my stand get, 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 respect, vibe, get, you know what I'm get was, some yeah, vibe yeah. build connect with great people yeah. boom i get to travel connect with great people eat food eat different food oh build okay like that i respect that you know man. what i'm saying yeah. so it's not like i'm just Grind, 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 grind. Right. It's no, it was just just enjoying life. You're living your life. Yeah, yeah it's I'm not yeah. living my life. And someone asked me, it was like, because uh, they know one thing about me, I enjoy traveling. Mm -hmm. I enjoy traveling. And um, this person asked me, he was like, yeah, are you able to? Um, are you are you living your dream? And then I'm so, and then it took a you know my first answer was like no because I'm not there yet right, but then I'm just like yeah. Um, I'm traveling, I enjoy traveling, and I'm building a business, and I'm connecting with the people I want to connect with, and I'm able to see my people. So, yeah, I'm living my dream. Right. You know, so right. it's, it's you know, it's crazy when yep. you really, like, when you take a step back, because you probably know this, too, because you, like, yep. you be like, damn, I need some, I need X, Y, and Z, boom, boom, boom. Mm -hmm. But when you take a step back and look at your, look at it, like, you're Whoa. really doing this. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're yeah. really doing this for yeah. real, so yeah that hit me actually just a, f a few weeks ago honestly because mm -hmm. when i was in school uh, you know I was, I was like how you was man i really don't want to work a job for real you know i used to feel bad for feeling that way because everybody in my family you know work jobs mm -hmm. ain't nothing wrong with that but and my granddad I, yeah. think i'm a failure by the way for real because you because you want because i don't have i don't have a job he's in that the, the, i know the job yeah he's in that he is. get a job what is wrong with you <laughs> like you know what i'm saying yeah. so, but no he you know he's good people shout out to papa by the way yeah <laughs> that, that's just how their generation is yeah though. and i respect sure. it you know because they had to survive back then big time you know for and sure. i respect it but i realized that a few weeks ago like man where you live my dream dream I, mm -hmm. I said i didn't want to work a job i just want to do podcasts videography and what i do and i travel and do all this shit yeah. like you said when you actually step back and look like oh okay <laughs> let's keep it going so since you say you like to travel a lot mm -hmm. what's like your favorite state you've traveled to so far yep <clears throat> um i really enjoy charlotte charlotte it, yeah it's pretty well that's the city i guess the state yep. Char um north carolina i enjoy north carolina it was pretty chill um but i love the water like i love the water so I, that's why i always going down to the beach every month like every month, I could touch down to a beach, hit the seven five area. Mm -hmm. um, Florida is always nice too, you know. Um, that's always a solid. Um, definitely want to get out outside the country though. Oh yeah, that I mean, but that's my sacrifice of building a business though. You know, it's like, all right, build, take care of your business first, mm -hmm. then you're able to fly. I always tell people my biggest goal, like if I'm able, like if I'm able to accomplish this, mm -hmm. I'm very successful. I'm like that's my success. Yeah, 
if I'm able to travel at the whole continent of Africa for a whole year. I think you will. You will, you will, bro. Without working. Like, yeah. no, seriously. Like, oh, Monday. All right. We're this, on this, this. Tuesday. That, yeah. with the whole year, 365, uh-huh. be able to travel the whole continent. Just live, just live and see. You I'll, just manifested yeah, it, man. For sure. For sure. That's, I, that's, my, that's my plan. So I'm excited about that. That's dumb. I'm looking forward to witnessing it. Yeah. I, I already know I'm gonna see it come across like hey, I'm, I'm going to Africa <laughs> for a month. I'm like, damn, I mean, you said that shit. A month, that, that, I said a year. Uh, oh, oh a shit, year. a year. Yeah, yeah, a year. We're a year. A year. You know what? I respect yeah, just that. Just travel. Man. Just like seriously live. You yeah. know, and I feel like we don't live as just people in general. Yeah. We we don't live. You know, I, I want to get to the point where I'm not looking. I'm not looking or worried about oh how much this is or what what this is you know it's like no ser- like there's people out there li- really living like this like seriously man like just living <laughs> and that's what we that's what you know i think we need to but also that's one of my goals is just have that that luxury of just living yep and i feel like that comes in with you know you know about the generational curse mm. do you feel like you breaking the generational curse by having this mindset that you have now and doing everything you're doing yeah um, I think, I think so. The, um, that's one reason why I'm coming back here and mm-hmm. build. It's like, I want to change the world and I know I am going to change the world, but in order to do that, you have to change your family first. Like, if, you know, that's nice that you change the world, but what are you doing for your family? Yeah. You know, so, um, I definitely, I definitely, you know, um, believe in, you know, take care of your family. Um, and yeah. take care of your peoples. Um, I just want everybody to win. Yep. And that's it. Yep. I agree, man. Mm-hmm. I agree. I got a few fried questions for you real right. quick. I'll be I'll be answering some fried. All right. I'll be fried anyway. You ready? Let's go to number one. Will you ever be sticky or itchy? Yeah, that's some fried. That's some fried. <laughs> everybody sticky, say that. Sticky, sticky or, itchy. or itchy. Yeah. I'd rather be sticky. You ever be sticky? Yeah. Yes, he's the first. I think the first and second person to say that, y'all. Everybody used to say, "I'd rather really be itchy." No, I'm like, "You'd rather really be it." Walk around scratching. Yeah, yeah that's shit. weird. Hey, all right. If you was trapped on an island for one full year, what three albums or mixtapes would you listen to? Albums or mixtapes? Yep. Take care. Banger. Um. Oh, duh. Vi- uh, Victory lap. Mm. And then albums or mi- or mixtapes. Yep. Ooh, I'll probably, let's see, I got that Take Care. I might have to get that Drake, uh, the Drake, uh, what is that, gift album or whatnot, but um, if not Drake, I'll go with, probably go with the uh, Cabin Fever. Ooh, that's my banger right yeah, there. I'll probably go Cabin oh, Fever. Oh, so you about to be out there vibing. <laughs> yeah. Big vibe, big vibe. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Okay, if it's one person you can meet, dead or alive, who would it be? No, that's a nice question. I ain't fried. All right. <laughs> dead or alive. Yep. One person. Dead or alive. Hmm. Dead or alive. Damn, that's a, I know. That's, that's a nice a, question. That's a fire question right there. So, like, and I only got one person. Yep. I can meet. Yep. About to give me a half a mint break. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll probably go with. This is probably some fried shit, but it's just the type of person like I am. Like the first person on earth. Like I want to know mm. what are they thinking. Wow. Like. You started this shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, like, right. What What are you thinking? Like, what is your What's inside your mindset? Like. Is it like, all right, is it survival or like, do you wake up? Like, what is this? Or like, do you already know what it is? Or, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? That's, 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 that's what a, I want to. That's a real good one. Yeah. That's a real good one right there. For sure. Will you ever be a unicorn or a dinosaur? Damn. <laughs> Damn, that's some fried. And I think I saw a po- <laughs> uh, one of your videos asking that. Yep. <laughs> some fried. Uh, damn. See, a dinosaur is live, but they. 
The meteor wiped them ass out, though. They didn't survive yeah, that shit. Yeah. And a unicorn, nobody's seen it. So is it really real? But is it real? Like, Do we know if a dinosaur is real? That's true, too. <laughs> that's his story. Yeah. You know, um, what kind of dinosaur, though? Any kind of dinosaur? A, I can't t- be a, a T-Rex. Rex. All right. Damn, well, that means I don't got no arms, though. Yep. You just I need to be hurt. <laughs> yeah. I need to be hurt. But dude, I feel like no Unicorns can fly, though, right? Whoa. Can they? Or are they just horses with, Fried the, moment. with the horn? Because if, if he could get up out of there, you know what I'm saying? Can unicorns fly? I thought this was like magical. Like yeah, like the, the rainbow. Yeah. And... They should be able to fly. Let's just say that, uh, y'all. If they, yeah. fly, if they could fly, I'd be a unicorn. You'd be a unicorn? Yeah, because he could get up out of there. Okay, so now you got to get a new Roman. You got to call it unicorn. Huh? You gotta you gotta get start uh make a new aroma and you gotta call it unicorn. Oh, unicorn? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. For we, sure. We can might do something with the lavish though, but I don't know okay. about that one though. <laughs> no, you know you unicorn? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. That's right. <laughs> For sure. So uh I'll ask you that question. Dang. So what's your favorite cereal? Damn, I don't even eat cereal, but when I do, mm-hmm. what is my go to? I feel like I'm a little ass kid though. Um, damn, if I go to oh, um, probably be ah, uh, you can't go wrong with that Lucky Charm or that cherry, just the regular Cheerios though. You really can't go wrong with that one. Cheerios, the Honey Nut, Word. the Honey Nut Cheerios. I never, I ate them one time and that was it. You can't go wrong. Damn. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Honey Nut Cheerios. You can't go wrong with that one. That's your go to. Yeah, at late at night. In the, yeah, you can't go wrong with that one. Yeah, so see, since you don't eat cereal, what do you eat? Like you know, in the morning. So my breakfast is very fucking terrible. Um, so I was on a wave of just a smoothie, like just smoothie in it. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, but usually, usually I'll skip breakfast. Um, and go go right into it. Or if I do have breakfast, I'll have like IHOP or something like that. So I don't cook. I see he's like, you just yeah. get up and go get some food. Yeah, I don't yeah. cook. Like, yep. I don't really know the last time I cooked. And yeah. Damn, so you be on a go, go, go. Pretty much. Like, <laughs> you, <see>? <laughs> <laughs> you ever try to cook no eggs for one time? Hey, I, don't, I don't cook breakfast either. Don't be real. If, all right, for me, I feel like it's time consuming. Mm-hmm. So, like, if you're cook, if I cook, that's like an hour of my life that I could be doing something else productive. So, mm-hmm. like, the opportunity cost of me not cooking, let's say $8. Right. That's an hour of my life that I'm able to be productive and do something that can maximize more than $8. God damn. So eating not important now, huh? Huh? So eating's not important. <laughs> no. I get what, you. Eating is not important? I'm, I'm, I'm no, I'm just you. saying. If, and also, here's another uh-huh. thing. If I'm cooking at home, right? Yeah. If I'm eating at home, I'm not around people. That is I need true. I around you people because that's yeah. the attention. Yep. So... Damn, you know, a question about that, actually. How do you go about, you know, marketing? When you go out here in public, you actually meet somebody, you know, to try to sell your products, too. How do you go about that? So, I used to do pretty much just be out here, out here. But yeah. um, what I do, usually business to business. Um, but whatever I'm at, like, I'm not I'm not scared. Mm-hmm. I, I'm, I got a business I'm trying to build. So, if you're a person, hey, how's it going? Uh, my name is Leon. I have mm-hmm. a business that I'm building. Do you use any oils? And they sell itself. So, you know. That's dope. Yeah. Um, they sell itself. And who doesn't like oils? Or who doesn't like, you know, just supporting, you know, supporting someone that's going for something? Seriously. Seriously. <clears throat> my fault, y'all. Mm-hmm. I agree on that, man. And last but not least, <laughs> what makes a great life? about <laughs> to hit that Gary V oh, <laughs> no but real talk though um, what makes a great life yes sir um, you doing you doing what you want to do um, you you're no I'll say growth I feel like if you're not growing you're not happy like if you just ever meet a person that's content mm-hmm. they're not happy because even even I, I sometimes catch catch myself yeah. i'd be like damn why am i not happy then the root of it is because i'm not growing so i'll say to answer your question um growth if a person is continue to growing little even little by little going for having something mm-hmm. um that's that that's i feel like that person's a, you know happy with his life i agree i agree sorry rewind real quick but you say you went to csu 
Central, Central State. State. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How was that experience, bro? Oh, man, it was great because yeah. um, out of high school, I went to Akron to play ball, and oh, then okay. I ended up transferring to Central. Um, it was a different from from a PWI right, right. to a HBCU. Like, it was great. Like, for real, for real, Central, I always credit Central. Central pretty much made me who I am mm-hmm. um, today, you know, from understanding and loving, you know, the black culture so much um to seeing teachers that look just like you also going through those hardships um you know we got a lot of central state stories um you know um going through those hardships just meeting so many different people and a lot of people don't realize that hbcus are probably the most diverse universities Mm -hmm. the reason for that is because i went to central state for undergrad but hampton for grad totally two different demographics right right totally two different uh, demographics and it's like you know, um, you know, the fish Fridays, the uh, chicken Wednesdays, you know, DJ in the cab, mm-hmm. going to going to those parties. Then you have the games, playing football, yeah. hearing the band, you know, uh, you know, being the man on campus. And it's just you, you all of that. And remember, those are the, um, that's where I started selling the oils and yeah. also really tapping into my entrepreneur yeah. um, entrepreneurship. So that's another reason why um, I'm going to also start looking for a couple interns to work our homecoming table. Mm-hmm. So the business department, a couple interns um, gaining experience, probably going to be a paid intern um, ship or give them a little sum. But um, yeah, so I'm really credit Central State. And that's why you see. Hey, I got y'all got it tight. Yeah, I got. Um, matter that's of fact, dope. I went that's to Bedford. I went to Bedford. So I got the Bearcat on me. And then yeah, this, uh, Central State got the Marauder on me, too. That's, dope. that's why home, you know, those both places I call home, they mean a lot to me. And, you know, that's why I always want to come back and rebuild. Dope. Mm-hmm. I'll, I'll shout to Central State. My brothers yeah, go out for there. Sure. Oh, for yeah, real? Yeah, I heard of Phi Theta. Yep. I, oh, your Iota? Yep, okay, okay. Yep, yep. Yeah, 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 yeah. I went out there, man. It's all love. You know, I went to University of Toledo, you know, you know, PWI. Okay, okay. But when I actually did, you know, branch out, go like Central State yeah. or um, was it Tennessee State University, yeah, I just yeah. know it's a big difference, man. It's, it's lit. It's yeah, lit. It's, it's lit. like Central State, like homecoming is like, it's, lit. Yeah. it's just a different, it's just a different vibe. Like, like all week, it's all week. It's yeah. like you got... You know the Delta spot. You got the Qs, the Iotas, the Zetas, all all of them rocking throughout the week. Rocking. Yep. Uh, DJ in the calf, rocking. You know, like it's going. And then like you know, football, playing football, it's like, all right, you know, it's 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 you know, it's on. You hear the yep. band live. You know, the yep. campus they they supporting. They ready. You know what I'm saying? So and then after you get that dub, especially if you, you know, you showed out on the field. It, it's a nice, uh-huh. it's a nice night, you know. So, it's a, it's, it's lit. So y'all used to kick it after, after you played football for the games. Oh man, I could tell so many stories. Like oh, so, shit. all right. Here's the thing, oh, yeah, though, bro. About like I was always a leader, uh-huh. um, and I always was a hard worker. Like right. from school to sports, everything. Like I was always dedicated, but I had my fun. Like I remember g- coming back from the Bahamas. Um, we played in the Bahamas. Uh, we was lit because we was stuck in the airport. So oh, okay. we got a bottle. They had a bottle in the airport. Mm-hmm. We all got a bottle. We was lit with the band, the cheerleaders on the plane, yeah. like just having fun. Um, man, it was so many parties. Like it was just be just be lit, you know. So many times, um, man, <laughs> yeah, it was, it was some. It was really some fun times, and it's crazy because all my peoples that you know we had those fun times mm-hmm. with. They're building businesses. So yep, yep. my guy, John, um, he has a training facility. That's where we're going to have our workshop um, in Beachwood um, this Sunday. Mm-hmm. So he's doing his thing. My guy, Harvey, um, he has a photo uh, photography business mm-hmm. out in Columbus. He's doing his thing. And then my guy, Tate, he's um, he's a teacher. He's a teacher um, at uh, Rentalburg High School doing his thing. And he's in his, his passion. Like, he always said, bro, I'm about to be a teacher, bro. Yeah, he like all, and that's another thing. All with my peoples. Yep. Everybody like John. He said he's gonna be a trainer. Did that. Yep. Harvey. He said he's gonna be a business owner. Did that. Tate. Did that. Me. Did that. Yep. Like, really, it's it don't really come from a surprise. Oh yeah. Even by the way, I gotta give my guy Monte Go some it. love. Go for it. My guy Monte hooked me up. Um, he he went to Central State. That's my guy. Um, 
he's he, he was cutting hair he was cutting hair at central um you know in the dorms getting me right you know for game days and all that everybody right and he's a barber he, matter of fact he his barber shop is on emory road they do a great job like dope, dope, dope. He, you, uh, you see it, you it see it yeah, for yeah, sure yeah. for sure stop playing it's on emory but, yeah it's on emory um sure. yeah right right in the diagonal of that uh mcdonald's mm. yeah right there um but yeah it's just be around i would probably say be around people that's doing something be around be around those type of people you're gonna end up doing something I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. I agree. I agree 100%, man. So where can they find you at? So, Website, social media, loan, everything, fam. Quick. All right. So um, you can find um, myself at Leon underscore Chambers underscore, or you could go to our inst our business Instagram, Kim's, K-Y-M-Z, Oils. And you could also go to the website, www.kimskymzoils.com. For sure. For sure. Anything else we want to let them know? Um, <clears throat> Jay, you did a great job. Um, thank you for having me on this uh, right. podcast. I appreciate and, you, man. you know, where can we find you at so my viewers um, that's on the ground could uh, follow you? Y'all can find me at the underscore lavish journey. All social media platforms. The Lavish Journey on YouTube, you know, Google, whatever. Just The Lavish Journey. Okay, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> appreciate that. I appreciate you, my brother. No problem. For the show. Well, ladies and boys, girls, thank you for watching or listening to Lavish Journey Podcast, where we create, inspire, and spread greatness. We out of here. Can't post with a picture. I'm going to screenshot it from the camera. Oh. We good.